Hello everybody, I have a geology project to share with you today. We are working out of this book called Mountains and Volcanoes by Barbara Taylor. We're really liking it a lot. It's really well written and nicely illustrated and there are tons of projects to do in this book. So we're going to be working on the do-it-yourself fold mountain project. Now we're going to do this two ways. Now the first way I'm going to show you is using some very thin modeling beeswax from Stockmar. I picked this up from a childsdream.com and we're going to to use these just to demonstrate how the fold mountains are formed and what's really neat is that there are little pieces of paper between these thin pieces of wax and so we can just flatten it out and use it again now we're using this on a warm day and so it was really easy to maneuver all of the wax into this fold mountain that then represents how it can turn into metamorphic rock underground and again I can just flatten it out so we're gonna do this project one more time and this time it's going to be permanent we are going to be using some paper and again I'm just showing you without it being glued together what it looks like but we're going to cut strips of this construction paper and then we're going to glue it together to make a permanent fold mountain so I'm going to cut strips down here that are about two inches wide and I've got all these different colors and I decide that I want to separate them into the different colors because I think that it's going to show the fold mountain a little bit better so it just took a second here just to divide up all the colors and now I can glue them together but I decide that I'm going to do one thing first. First I'm just going to show you what it looks like when you just squeeze them together but I wanted it to be permanently like that. So I've got some supplies here, some glue, some water, some big binder clips and I also have some crystals that we grew earlier on in our unit. So my glue was just about done and wouldn't squeeze out so I just cut the whole thing off added a little bit of water to it so that it's a little bit easier to use and I'm putting it into this plastic beaker that we picked up from Acorn Naturalist just using some old paint brushes and the first thing I'm going to do is add a few of these little crystal pieces to one of the layers of this fold mountain to kind of represent what you what fossils might be like in the layers of all of the layers of like a fold mountain like all the sedimentary layers that form the sedimentary rock that then if they're folded and you know heated and compressed under the earth then can form metamorphic rock. So I'm adding a ton of this glue water mixture on as many layers as I can. I obviously wasn't very careful about it. I was just going through kind of hastily. It was kind of messy. The kids did not do this part of the project. This this is something that I did for them. Then I finally decided I better get a tray unless it's going to get all over the place. So at this point I'm just making sure that it's going to fold well and indeed it does but I do need a little bit more of this glue water mixture before I add the binder clips to either end of this fold mountain construction paper and then I'm going to hold it all in place with a rubber band. So. I'm going to leave this on the tray and my kid is going to put it outside for about six hours while we continue our homeschool day. And then six hours later, we bring it in, we take off the binder clips and it totally holds in place really well. This was a fantastic demonstration. Just shows that the layers of sedimentary rock and after years and years of just pressure and, and heat and compression end up causing them to just stay together like rock. Okay, so if you want to see some of the other projects in our geology unit, you can click on the screen right now. And for full directions for this project, you can check them out on my website at pepperandpine.com.